Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, differentiation of log functions in this session. Uh, let's get started with some ideas first. So, the idea is if f of x is ln of g of x, then f dash of x is g dash x times 1 divided by g of x. Now, this is some useful information for you, but trust me, once you have a look at a couple of examples, it kind of makes sense. Basically, if you have an ln of a function, um, when you differentiate it, you're going to have g dash of x divided by g of x, which is here. But, like I said, looking at a couple of examples will actually make sense. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I've set up two examples here. Differentiate ln of 5x and differentiate log of x squared. Now, I know that ln and log are different things, but in terms of differentiation, they have the same same principles. So, if I do this, if I have f of x is equal to ln of 5 of x, 5x. Now, f dash of x is, what I need to do is, the first thing I need to do is differentiate whatever's inside the bracket. So, here I've got 5x. If I differentiate this, I would get 5. And that's multiplied by 1 divided by whatever's in the bracket. So, in this case, it's actually 5x. So, simplifying this, you're going to get 5 divided by 5x. And of course, both of your 5s are going to cancel out, and your differentiated function is going to equal 1 over x. Now, having a look at the second example here. So, we have f of x is equal to log of x squared, which means f dash of x is equal to and as usual, the first step we do is we differentiate whatever's inside the bracket. So when we differentiate x squared, we get 2x. And that's multiplied by 1 divided by whatever the bracket is in the original place. In this case, it's going to be x squared. So simplifying this, I'm going to get 2x divided by x squared. And of course, the x's will cancel out each other to leave me with f dash of x equals 2 divided by x. That's basically it uh, in terms of concept, um, but I am going to try and do one more problem um, in the next slide. Just a little tricky, but uh, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, in this example, I want to differentiate y equals ln of 3x plus 1 to the power of half. Now I'm going to show you guys two ways of doing this. The first one is the short, short method. So y is equal to ln of 3x plus 1 to the power of half. Now if you remember your log rules from your previous years, you know that the power could be brought in front of the ln, which means, in other words, you could have actually brought the half in front. So this will become half ln of 3x plus 1. And so from this point, I can actually differentiate it. So dy dx would equal a half multiplied by whatever's the differentiation of the inside, whatever's inside the bracket. So I've got 3x plus 1. If I differentiate it, I will get 3. And that's multiplied by 1 divided by the whole bracket itself, whatever's inside ln. In this case, it's 3x plus 1. So simplifying this, I would get 3 divided by 2 times 3x plus 1, which of course, I'm just going to simplify it further. I'm going to get 3 divided by 6x plus 2. Okay, this is the easier way of doing it. To prove that this actually works using another method, I will be showing it using the chain rule. But due to space restrictions, I will be moving on to the next slide, guys. So just bear with me. Now, I know in the previous um, question it was y equals ln of 3x plus 1 to the power of half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put u as 3x plus 1 to the power of half. And then I'm going to work out du dx, which would be half multiplied by 3x plus 1 to the power of negative half. And of course, because I'm using the chain, um, chain rule here, this would be, I've got to multiply by the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket, which in this case is 3. So I'm left with, sorry, going back, I'm left with this for now. Now what I could do is... Because u equals 3x plus 1 to the power of half, I could actually say y is equal to ln of u, which 
means dy du would simply be 1 over u. I guess it would help if I had written this in the first place. y equals n of 3x plus 1 to the power of half. So, from this point on, I know that dy dx would equal dy du multiplied by du dx. I already have dy du, which is 1 over u, and that's multiplied by half times 3x plus 1 to the power of negative half multiplied by 3. Now what I do is I replace u, so I have 3x plus 1 to the power of half, and again I write the rest of the things down. There we go. Now because there's a 3x plus 1 in the, well, to the power of negative half in the numerator, when I bring it to the denominator, it will become positive half, and so it'll actually become 3x plus 1 to the power of 1. So what I'm going to end up having is 3 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 3x plus 1, which simplifies to 3 divided by 6x plus 2. And this is the same thing as, as what I had in the previous example. As you can see right there. Okay, but I mean obviously using this method is a lot faster compared to this one. But with both of the methods you're still going to get the same answer. Alright guys, that's how you differentiate using differentiate log... Uh, what am I trying to say? Let's try that again. That's how you do differentiation of log functions. Alright, thanks for watching.